Hey, you guys, welcome. So we're going to talk about organic marketing, social media, organic marketing. Okay. Um, one of the things you'll hear gurus say all the time, you have to run a paid ad. Um, is it helpful? A hundred percent. Yes. When you are strategic. Okay. Um, and Christy teaches a lot on that of the type of ad you need to be running, where it needs to go, who you need to target. Like there's so much in that, that I really think that you need to either go through um, an ad course. I recommend Adrian Richardson, something. Okay. Before you just go hit the boost button and do paid. Okay. I think too, you need to test it out in organic okay so if you've been following through in your workbook you guys were on this page if you haven't downloaded the workbook we literally walk you through your paid products your lead magnet i.e email opt-in um all your marketing like literally walk you through everything so that you have a marketing plan okay those without a marketing plan don't grow their business Okay, it doesn't have to be complicated. It can be very simple, but it has to be strategic. Okay, so if you're there, this is where we're at. Okay, and we're going to talk about how to do social media marketing organically. Okay, and I'm going to pull up a few um, places so you guys can see it. Um, I'm not going to pull up Pinterest just because it was being a little bit difficult earlier. So let's talk about Pinterest though, okay? Pinterest has had its ups and downs lately. Okay, so you gotta know on Pinterest what it's doing. <laughs> if you are a business owner, go in some of the blogging groups because so many of them rely so heavily on Pinterest that they typically can give you a good idea, okay? But in this moment, okay, it's 2021, in this moment, some of the things that I'm seeing with clients on Pinterest that work really well is an idea pin, okay? You can't put a link on that, but if you have your opt-in on your um, front page of your website, you will 100% be able to draw people over, okay, and get them to that opt-in. Be very specific on that pin, okay? You guys, you heard when you do any of this, no general, okay, no subscribe, no newsletter, like people are after very specific help, okay, we talked about that when we talked about the lead magnet, but I just want to emphasize again, okay, so let's look at Instagram for a sec and talk about a few places where you can put this, okay, so this is um, Abby Kirsten, um, if you guys love crafts or love Cricket, she's the master. Um, but you can see here, okay, she's got a link in her bio, okay? So she could even get a little bit more specific with that. She's using these, okay? So all of these, like, you can use that and put a call to action, okay? Give them that freebie, okay? So you're, you're gonna use highlights, definitely add a call to action to every one of those, okay? Use your stories. Your stories should have um, at least once a day, okay? It needs to have some sort of opt-in product, something that's gonna get them on your list, okay? You can also use your stories, your reels, your um, IGTV. I heard somebody say, so today, I think it was today in a Facebook group, she had had like 10,000 views on a reel. Here was the problem. It got them to her blog, but to no email opt-in. So then she's like, well, how do I get them to get on my newsletter? Okay, one, you don't need a newsletter. Two, I should have thought about that before you put up your reel. Okay, so you guys think about it before you do it. Think before you execute. Okay. Okay. Facebook. Um, I'm just going to give you these general ones. Okay. Facebook, you can do a post. Okay. 
I've said this once, I've, I'll say it a million times. You should only do a link one out of every three to four posts. Okay, so if you're doing three posts a day, one of those can be a link. And it needs to be to your website, to your email opt-in, to a product, something, okay? Like, don't waste that precious link, okay? You can do it on um, Facebook Stories. Now, here's what I'm going to tell you about Stories, okay? Not all of you need to be doing Stories, okay? That's something that really, truly, I have to look at from the back end and look at your data and look at your information, look at your page size, look at your engagement, before I'm going to say everybody should be doing stories, okay? There's just certain, certain sizes and certain engagement that Facebook is looking for. If not, you're putting them up there for no reason, okay? But if you have kind of that criteria and you've got the right little mixture, the right recipe, then Facebook stories is an amazing way to get people to your freebie, to get people to your email opt-in. Okay, you can totally kick butt there with your lead magnet. Facebook group, okay? Let's pull back in here and look at a Facebook group right quick. So there's a whole other video on Facebook groups. How do you monetize Facebook groups? Because that's probably one of the biggest questions I get asked. Um, and I show you Abby's um, Facebook group plan because um, she needed a plan. <laughs> so you can see here, you guys, when you welcome members every time, it should be leading to your email opt-in. Every time, okay? Every single, repeat after me, every time, Connie, it will lead to my email opt-in. Okay, that's just wasted space if you don't. Okay, so make sure that you're doing that. You can see um, So I would just put a link, okay? Like that's one thing that she's missing is I would just put a direct link there. Okay? You can also so like with hers, when I talked about it in the other video, um, I talk about like how often you should be posting that in a group. okay? Because that should be some of your strategy is that you're doing that weekly. Okay, and then let's move over to YouTube. Let's go to YouTube. Okay, you guys, I'm just gonna put a selfish plug. If you haven't subscribed, why haven't you? Um, you guys, we have tons of great, like how to do SEO. Um, we do audits for people. We talk about um, Rank IQ and Instagram and all of the stuff. So please go like my YouTube channel. Thank you. Um, okay, guys. So when you're doing um, YouTube, okay, you can see here, like, you can definitely see the cover, right? And then especially on mobile, it's the first three lines that come up. Okay. So I want you to utilize that first three lines, okay? Your email opt-in, okay, or next step, it should be an email opt-in of some sort. Um, it could be a website. Ours is the website because it pops it up, okay? This is what they see on their phone. 90% of people are coming from their phone, okay? You can also put it in the description, okay? So, Here's more for people, okay? And then put it in the comments if it's appropriate. Don't spam people, okay? But you could say, um, just put it here and then make sure that you um, pin that, okay? And then what YouTube loves also, is if you'll heart type comment. I don't know why, but they like that. Um, so do all of those, okay? Don't waste space, especially on YouTube, okay? Because YouTube is like a library. It stays forever and ever. It stays, 
Okay, so um, even on Pinterest, it'll go for a really long time and then they'll pick up some more speed and it'll do. Social media is a constant, um, your social media marketing, especially on Facebook and Instagram, I mean, you've got to constantly be putting it there. Okay, and what I hear business owners say all the time, you know, well, I put it there a few weeks ago. Okay, so it's live on Facebook and Instagram for a few minutes before they're off to the next thing. So you need to be consistently putting it there, okay? They need, here's the thing, okay? Like, let's just have some truth in this. Um, I see a lot of business owners where they're putting out funny memes, you know, viral, sharing viral junk, okay? If you're not teaching them that you have products or services for sale, that you have an email opt-in, you're never gonna get them there. Okay, that's part of that strategy plan that if you want us to create it, that's part of what we look at is how often do we need to be doing that? Okay, so let's take Abby for an example. Um, I run her social media, and so every day there is a um, link to a product, a link to a webinar, link to a blog post, one of those, okay? Because that's what brings in the moolah, okay? You're telling me I want to make more money, then you've got to be putting up the next step. Okay, viral stuff does not get you money many times. Okay, so I want you, as you're working through this and you're doing the organic, okay, I want you to really especially focus on Pinterest, Facebook group, YouTube, okay? Yes, I still want Instagram and Facebook, but I want more than anything, I just want you to be consistent, okay? You only need one graphic, one link, one something there, okay? That's Christy and I's goal is to teach you how to do this simply, concise and simple, okay? Because there's so many stuff out there that you'll learn that says, you know, you've got to have all these funnels, you've got to have all this that you don't, okay? You just need an email opt-in. Okay, so that may be your MailChimp, that may be your Flowdesk, that's what we use as Flowdesk, um, whatever that looks like, okay? So make sure that if you haven't downloaded this, that you download the entire, you guys, this is the entire workbook, okay? Like there's lots and lots, that didn't go in there. There's lots and lots and lots of pages. We go through everything, streams of income, Okay, there's a lot of stuff in here, these magnets, email marketing plan, okay, like this will literally become your Bible of what you do in your business, okay, so if you have any questions, let us know in the comments, and we'll be happy to answer those.